Hello everybody, and welcome back to another uh, FS19 Durango video. Had to think about what we were doing for a second. Anyway, uh, I'm just, you know, doing this combine. Cleaning it all up, making it look nice and pretty. Yeah, we're doing some maintenance on it, because it was pretty bad. I think um, it needs a uh, service as well, so just, yeah. We've had this thing for quite a while. It's done quite a few harvests. It needs a, a bit of a service. So we can go and repair that. Go and repair the header. I mean, it's not that bad, but still, how we could be taken care of. What about the header trailer? A uh, header trailer seems fine, actually. Yeah, header trailer's good. Okay. There we go. Uh, also, we need some fuel. So let's go back up to our little fuel thing and get some fuel. We're just waiting for our crops to grow. I do have the speed set to 15 times. So, I might speed it up in a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, Since I can, can't fill up from these, I think I've, I've had some trouble filling up with, from these for some reason. These, um. Yeah, it's not. It's not letting me refill from these for some reason. Even though it's a fertile. Even though it's a, it's a fuel thing. Maybe the fuel cap is. No. Where's the fuel cap on a combine? Where's the fuel cap? Where where do we put the fuel? Right, let's try with the universal tank. Uh, we're waiting for our crops to grow anyway, so that's fine. We can go ahead and see if, see if we can do something here. We have our universal tanker um, left down here. And we also have the stair um, left down at the other area. If you guys didn't see last time, we bought that thing. The big dynamic storage. We bought it. So yeah. That'll just be for gr crops that we need down here for the pigs. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm trying to attach to this thing. But our straw blower's in the way, and my bucket's not making that kind of hard. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's see if we can go fill up from fuel, and see if we can then pump the fuel into the combine. Hoses. Or one hose. A single hose. Yeah, but I would like to, to buy this thing. It's on lease right now, but yeah, we should we should be able to buy it. Because, yeah, it's a universal tank. It can hold absolutely everything. So there really is not a... There really is no point in not having it. And also, it can do slurry. Yeah, we might end up getting it for slurry. Um, we might actually get, like, a horse um, thing. Because there's a couple horse things for the um, for slurry. There we go. So, yeah, we're filling up with diesel. That's pretty nice. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, fuel just takes forever to fill. There we go. So you can see it emptying out of this thing. 400. 300. Oh, 100. And it's about empty, and poof. <laughs> there we go, 1,500. The diesel. So let's see if we can't refill the combine with this now. Yep, there we go. Okay. Combine's refilled. And that was really quick. Uh, let's see if we can refill us. Two. PTO, hose, tired thing. And hey, I need some fuel. Can I have some? Oh, thank you. There we go. So let us leave this up here as a little fuel, um, fuel storage. Okay, there we go. Let's go and get the combine ready. Uh, what field should we do first? Um, I guess I guess I guess it's what well, whichever one gets ready first. Uh, we're just waiting. I'm gonna go get the stair. Okay, so I got the stair um, back here and sped up time a little bit, so our canola is now ready, and I'm pretty sure our oats are now ready, and our corn has progressed a growth stage. So yeah, a lot happened. So yeah, this got ready, that got ready, and this um, grew up a little bit. So yeah, we ha we will have to apply some fertilizer. Oh, we actually have to get some fertilizer. I think we're out of fertilizer, but I think we might have some in the brooms. We can go ahead and get the John Deere to go ahead and do uh, do, do that on a worker. Because yeah, the planter didn't apply any fertilizer to begin with. So really, it's up to us. And I think we have still some in the brooms. Could be wrong, though. I think we have a little bit. May not be enough, but yeah, we'll see. 
I think it applies it pretty slow. Okay, good. Uh, 1364, we'll see. We'll see how far they get. But yeah, I think we're going to do the oats first. Because, yeah, I want to do the bailing. We're going to lease the baler. And do some bailing. So yeah, oats it is. This is our second harvest on this map. Pretty exciting. Okay, right here, I think. Go, worker! Go, worker! Did I forget something? Oh, no. There, there they go. Not bad. And yeah, that, 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 um... That usage rate seems really good, so I think they'll definitely make it. Okay. Let's do the oats first, because, like I said, that's the field I want to bail. Or I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's do the canola first. Let's do the canola. I want to do the canola. Yeah. We'll do, we'll, we'll do the bailing next time. Uh, we'll just get the canola. Um, and the... Yeah, we'll see how far we can get. Um, we'll, we'll start off on this canola. Or I'll start off on this canola. And then, yeah, we'll see. Depending on how far we get, um, we can maybe try to do the oats as well. But yeah, it's harvest time. So yeah, it's, we just gotta we just gotta dig in here. Um, here we go. Get the reel of spinning. It's the most exciting time of harvest. Breaking a new field. Here we go. Go and put that up a little bit. I think it looks good. There we go. And harvesting. And we got the canola. The sides on the header, the canola sides on the header, the little teeth on the sides. They're actually little, little sharp little things. Look at them go. Look at those little canola choppers. Cut it up on the side. We also have some GPS uh, right on here, I think. I think that's what those are. Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're harvesting here. We get a good angle. That's a pretty good angle. Yeah, harvested. Canola. Oop, I mean to do that. Yeah, because there's only so many angles I can get of a combine before I, you know, I've exhausted the combine camera angle. But no, yeah, we should get a lot of canola and therefore a lot of money. So here we go. It's time lapse time. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Probably gonna put this on a worker in a little bit, in a little bit, in a little, in a little minute, bit, bit, but can't, can't speak. I was trying to say little minute and little bit at the same time, and it ended up not not working. Okay, worker. Yeah, so I'm gonna let him run because yeah, on this map really you just want to have the combine on a worker. It's good to get a little bit by yourself, but yeah, really it should be on a worker. That way we can cart, and that way he doesn't have to keep stopping. Um, I mean, it's canola, so it's not as bad, um, but yeah, for the oaks, it definitely will be bad, like, the combine will be stopping, like, every, like, minute or so with the oaks, because it's, like, it's like wheat, you get so much, though oats might be a little bit different, um, oats weren't in 17, oats are, in, the oat crop is new to 19, so, really, I don't know what it compares to, 
I think it's like in the middle of like wheat and uh, like soybeans. I think it's like a middle, middle productivity. Like canola, soybeans, and sunflowers are all very low productive. Um, but I'm pretty sure like wheat in that, and then and like wheat is like you know on the upper scale, being super productive. And then I think oats are kind of in the middle. Okay, you're done. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tip into our silo here. I actually did remember we do have a little bit of soybeans that I will take up to the pig farm. We will save some canola, but we have a little bit of soybeans we can also take up there. Put in the dynamic grain storage. Why do I have to put that trailer there? That's such a bad spot. Ooh, we have barley. We have some extra barley. Canola we just put in there. Soybeans. We don't have much soybeans. Just, 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 just that, ju just that. That is it. But yeah, it's better than nothing. And then we have that barley that we could probably take down there too. Cause yeah, that's not not a lot of barley. Uh, when I originally did it, I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't want to give them all the barley. And then I basically took all the barley and left like a thousand liters and was like, that's good. <laughs> I left, I took everything except for the tiniest little amount. Combine's doing good. Yeah, and also, yeah, yeah, I did the, during the time lapse, you would have known I'm going, I went up and down the edge of the field right there. Um, that's to hopefully prevent the worker from, from getting, from missing anything. If you do the edge like right there, the worker tends to not miss anything because they have more room to turn around. If you do it, if you do it like two or three times, um, you're, you're, you're pretty good. <laughs> Look at that tiny little bit of beans we got. So minuscule. It's gonna take up. I'm hoping the pigs will the pigs will just take it all, because I really don't want to have to waste uh, one of the um one of the um air one of the the bins in the dynamic storage with just this. But <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I know. Ooh, car, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, you're going this way. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, pro I probably should get the path um worked out. Like I said, it's gonna go up here. I think I'm going to put the water, like a water tanker area, water fill point right here. So yeah, water fill point right there, bunker silo. I said all this last time, but yeah, and then into here is where we put our, put our beans. So let's go and select a box. Left control G, storage, pig food storage, overview, um, box number... We'll go ahead and do on box number one. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Box number one now has our slight little bit of soybeans. But yeah, I wonder if the pigs are... They probably don't even need to put it in there. Let's see. Will they take it? I don't even know why I put it in there before trying to see if they would just take it. Do you guys want some soybeans? It's a very little amount, but do you guys want it? Will you, will you take it? Will you, will you take it? Take it. They took a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we did We did recently feed them, so they're probably doing A-OK. -okay. I'll check in a second. Get in there. Get in the storage. Get in the storage. Yes, that's why we kind of need to have a... A pathway, because coming in here at an angle really messes it up. You need, to, you, need, you need to have a straight shot. You need to come in here like going straight, like that, and then you're you're pretty good. Unless you do that, then you're then you're not as good. Yeah, this thing is very okay. Just get in there, buddy. Okay, got yeah, okay. So let me show you what I just did in the landscaping mode. So I went ahead and made all this this um. This other concrete texture. Um, we have this um, this concrete over here, which I like for kind of the um, the the non-treaded areas. It kind of looks kind of nice, but this is like the more beaten area where we drive over and stuff, you know, more. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty expensive to to change this whole yard to this texture. So I just put it where I can. Like I'm not gonna you know bother with under the shed, because that would just be too much time. But yeah, I went over here, and um, yeah, didn't bother with this area because this is where our, where our pig pen goes. As you can see, I have the path going up here. I have it kind of marked out. And then you turn here. Uh, what was that? What did I hit? There's like an invisible wall right there. 
Whoa, spooky. And then, yeah, you pull into here. And, yeah, it's nice. So, yeah, hopefully that works. Yeah, cool. Like I said, we'll put, put our pig pen here. Silage bunker right here. And, um, yeah, we're pretty good. So, yeah, let's just check on the pigs. I haven't checked their menu in a while. Uh, looking pretty good. Yep, they have, they have everything. Cleanliness, water, straw, corn, CCM. They have the CCM. They have the soybeans, the potatoes. Uh, wheat and barley is a little low, and corn slash corn cob mix is a little low. But that's fine. Helper Eye has a full grain tank. Oh boy, I wasn't paying attention. Let's go unload him. Oh, the pipe is on the wrong side. Oh boy, I have to go get him. Yeah, I did a pretty good job. All things considered, that he fell up. Considered, he's full now. Okay, good. Let's check our map, actually, because I think the, um, the fertilizer um, guy is done. Why are they on 97% productivity? Oh, they are making some manure. They have 902, man I mean, 102 manure. Why are they only all, all on 97? Is it the cleanliness that's kind of down a little bit? Probably, pro 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 probably is the cleanliness. So we'll probably have to get in there with the brush again. But, I mean, it's not that bad. It's only 97, so... We, we can wait a little bit. Okay, good. Get you back and running, and I think the John Deere, the John Deere, I think I saw it a while ago that he finished. So that's good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. He's over there. He said he's finished. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that thing was going to make it through that entire field. But yeah. There's a train. Okay. Go. Worker. Okay, John Deere. How well did you do? Let's just see. There's the train. He did okay, I guess. Yeah. Kind of the spots where I would expect a worker to kind of miss. That's fine. We can just go around there. I don't know why there's there's weeds down there already. Weeds. Let me see. Let me see these weeds that they're talking about. All right. Lower the driving wheel. Open the slider. Oh, yeah, the steering wheel. There we go. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, what's that? What are these weeds we're talking about down here? What weeds? I don't need weeds in my field now. There are weeds. Look at them. Look at them weeds. Mm, don't like weeds. Gonna have to get the sprayer. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna end this end this episode um here. We have been um recording for quite a while. We did a pretty big harvest. Um, and yeah, well, the worker will finish that off next time, and then we'll start on this field, the oats. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos, have a great day, great rest of your day, and yeah, next time we'll be harvesting the oat field. Actually, we'll probably still be harvesting this canola, um, but then... Yeah, hopefully maybe we can start work on that maybe a little bit. But yeah, definitely harvesting on this map is a big job. Big fields, like Welker. Takes multiple episodes. That kind of thing. I know I said at the beginning of the series it would be nice getting an an another combine. But, um, yeah, I just don't think we, we, we can afford that right now. So, then again, it would be nice just to get, like, another... Even, like, a smaller combine. Like, not as big. Just, you know, something extra. That can, you know, do some, do, um, more work. Maybe, like, a class dominator. Could be pretty cool. Well, we can block in the corn header, I think. We'll need to use this before we harvest the corn. Um, so yeah, we'll go and block that in. Boop. 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 Okay, bye.